Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today I am filming a, um, a makeup look, this makeup look actually, with makeup that I have been um, buying and it's just new to me, um, stuff that I've not used before so I'm just sort of testing it all out and I'm going to give you my thoughts as I go along. It's not a first impressions for some of them but for a lot of them it is and um, yeah, you can really see that highlighter today. Um, let me know what you think and I will see you in the next bit of the video. So the first thing I'm using is the Algenist Colour Correcting Drops. I've opened this and I've put a couple of drops on my hand and I've mixed it in with my foundation. It's quite watery and it actually makes your foundation a bit sort of looser and it's really pink. So I'm just going to apply the foundation first. Smells nice. Oh no, that's the foundation. I should know that. I see so many people doing tutorials where they do their foundation after their eyes and I just can't do it that way. I've tried and it feels so unnatural to me. It's weird, isn't it? Oh, that feels really nice today. Hmm. I feel like it's made it a bit orange, so I'm not sure how I feel about that, but we'll see. So, another new to me product is the Essence Stay All Day Long Lasting Concealer um, in the shade Natural Beige 10. I'm assuming this is the lightest one, so I'm just going to Ooh. try again. definitely a yellowy concealer I'm trying to get in as close as possible for you it says it's very full coverage and it's got apparently light reflect reflecting technology so it's a bit um what does it say with light reflecting pigments so it's probably not good if you're going to use it for um blemishes oh ooh, that feels nice this reminds me of the Maybelline fit me concealer but at a cheaper price <laughs> Maybelline fit me concealer is really 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 expensive compared to this but it's cheap compared to the creamy concealer from NARS so I just blended that in and I think that's quite nice actually. So um, I'm not going to set my makeup yet because I want to use a blush pop cream blush by Kiati London. I've seen these before, really, really cute. Um, they were on offer in TK Maxx. This colour is, what are you, darling? So I'm going to pop that on my cheeks and the same here. It's quite a nice colour because it's a neutral colour, like a corally colour. It's dark. I'm just going to blend that in with this blend, um, blending sponge. Yeah, I feel like you do have to put quite a lot on to see this because I did use it before. And you couldn't see it when I used the powder on top. So that's that. I'm now going to use the dim diffused light <laughs> um, to set my makeup. I just love this. I mean, it's absolutely ace. My skin does look really nice. Yeah, definitely. I think if you're going to use a powder over the top of that cream blush, you need to put on a little bit more than normal. Bear with me. Really sorry for the the movement, um, but I was really not comfortable. I felt like I was sitting far, too far back. So now I'm going to use, she says... A 
Okay. I'm going to use the Jaclyn Hill uh, Becca palette, face palette, and I'm going to use Prosecco Pop because I have not used it yet. I'm going to put that on first, followed by a little bit more blush. So I'm going to use Prosecco Pop. That's, oh, it's very powdery. Whoa, okay. I really didn't expect that. Oh my God. It's a uh, very yellow gold. Um, and a little goes a long way. Wow, okay. I think I prefer champagne pop. This is almost like a first impressions. Okay, that's um, quite an intense one. I'm gonna put a bit of champagne pop on top. Cause I think I prefer the champagne pop highlighter. Yeah, I really like that. I'm highlighted to heaven now. See if you can see that. I'm not sure. Then I'm going to use the blush in Amaretto just to bring forward the colour that I've already, already used. Okay. I look like I've got really dark circles, but I haven't. It's the camera. The camera's being really weird today. Um, okay, so, and I am a little bit... I don't feel very prepared. I'm not in my normal space, so it feels very weird being here. Um, so I'm going to use the Peaches and Cream Eyeshadow Primer, as usual. And it's just a creamy sort of colour. I really like this one. It's not overly sticky, and I find that if you have an overly sticky one, it's not actually very nice. It makes all the eyeshadow gather but this sort of evens out the eyelid primes it preps it ready for the eyeshadow so i'm just going to leave that to dry a little bit okay i feel really underprepared. i don't want to do too massively bold of an eye but i've got two palettes here that i picked up lately i've got the meadow and the flaming love palette i actually used the flaming love palette in another tutorial which you would have seen before this video and before the haul but that's okay um i think i'm going to use the meadow palette today yeah i'm just going to do a really subtle look today i think we're just going to use these top colors and i'm going to start with using my wet and wild um brulee base eyeshadow because there isn't really one in there um just gonna put that all over the lid and into the crease the same on the other side this is a really good base color just sets everything just as you need it and then I'm going to go in with, I couldn't be more predictable at this point. I'm going to go in with the lovely crease colour here in Sweet Peach. I think these are just brilliant, brilliant eyeshadows. And the same here. Then I'm going to go into Dusk, which is this burnt orange colour here. And I'm just going to place that into the crease and then move it over. It is such a pigmented colour. Then I'm going to take a blending brush. And blend those through. Yeah, I really want this blended. I don't want it to be too harsh at all. Yeah, that's better. Definitely better when it's blended. So I'm going to take that really beautiful champagne colour down here, which is Sandstone. 
and I'm gonna take that on a flat paddle brush. It's quite a dense brush, um, one of my favorites. And I'm just gonna take that all over the eye. I just want this to be as sort of subtle as possible, even though it's a shimmery color, I just want it to cover the eye. And the same on this side. Perfect. And then I'm going to take this navy blue in the corner here and I'm just going to pop that on the outer edge, but really lightly. Um, I want it to be more on the, yeah, on this part of the eye, close to the lash line. I'm not going to use any eyeliner today, I'm just going to use this. I'm just going to pop that on the outer edge, on the outer part of the um, lash line. actually a really beautiful colour. There we go. Just to give some depth to that. And then I'm just going to take that burnt orangey colour once again and just pop it in the outer part of the eye look. And the same here. Just going to buff that out a bit with a blending brush because, again, I don't want it to be harsh. I really want this to be as minimal as possible. Um, and it is quite a warm look, so I want to mute that down a little bit because I'm wearing a lipstick that may not go with this look. There we go. I'm just going to take a brown eyeliner. It's Damsel by... Um, steal it and I'm just going to put that in the waterline and the tight line. This is the bit I hate to see on camera so you can sw switch off for a few seconds if you want to. And the same in this eye. There we go. And then for the lips, well actually no, we can do eyebrows first and I'm taking the, pet, the NYX um, micro brow pencil in what color is this espresso and i'm just gonna um shape what is there and just give it a bit more depth i don't have to put a lot in my eyebrows for it to be obviously there and they're quite thick anyway i just want to shape them like this And the same on this side. I've got some very obvious gaps on this eyebrow, like a whole chunk missing. I believe that's something that I did back when I was a teenager, when I decided it would be cool to have a gap in my um, eyebrow. Don't ask. It's really weird what I did. Just going to take a spoolie and brush it through, even it all up a bit. I'm sure you're meant to take it on here bef before you do the eye look, but before you use the pencil. But I do like to do it after because it evens it out a bit. And then I'm going to take a new product and it's the Essence Eyebrow Gel. Um, I've not used this before. I just want to see what it does, sort of set it in place. So that's one thing I've been finding, like I've been doing it, but it's not really been setting. So that feels quite nice actually, this gel. Impressed. And then finally, lips, and I'm gonna take this essence lip liner in Yummy Berry. It's a new one for me. Oh, that's nice. It's really creamy. And, oof, that is really bright. 
and the lip colour I'm taking is in Berry Boost. Oh dear. And it is the Maybelline Vivid Matte Liquid Lipstick. And these are sort of moussey. Mm. That's actually really, really pretty. Um, gosh, I haven't worn a bright lipstick in ages and I love it. So that's it. That's everything. Oh, no, it isn't. That isn't everything at all. I haven't done my eyelashes. And I'm using the volume, Mega Volume Collagen 24 and topping that with the Runway Lashes by Milani. Um, I hate it when I forget to do a step. It's really frustrating. <clears throat> so I'm just going to pop on this as the bottom layer. This is such a big brush. I don't go... I just sort of coat the first lashes with it. Um, as soon as it starts to go clumpy, then I will be getting rid of it. Such a big brush. It's just that I don't like waste, and it was free, so I just wanted to give it a go. So I'm just putting that on the bottom on the bottom layer, <clears throat> and then I'm going to coat with this one, which is the Runway Lashes by Milani. Now I think this really this combination gives me quite full and long lashes. You see? I really like this combination. I love a thin brush. Oh, excuse me. Ah. I always get a runny nose when I film. Yeah, I, lo I love my lashes with this combination. I really do. And that is that. And that's the final look. I'm quite pleased with that, actually. I think that's really nice. Thank you so much for watching. Give it a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it. Comment down below if you wish. And subscribe. Take care, guys.